What is up everyone? It's DB and this is the second time I've actually recorded this video. It is crazy. I had a power outage right in the middle of this video. So now I've got to start it over. So it feels like I'm repeating myself here, but let's go ahead and get to this. So one thing you're going to notice right away is DB, how do you have 1,997 cactus spikes? And we're going to get to that in a minute. That's the whole topic of this video. But before I begin, if you could do me a huge favor and smash the subscribe button and hit that like button, I appreciate all of your support. We're well on our way to 200,000 subs, man. The channel is growing really fast again. So I really appreciate all of your support. Let's talk about cactus. So you have these seeds, right? And so how you get cactus seeds is you got to go over here. So let's go and reset real quick. I'm going to show you where you get cactus before. Just give you a little rundown. Oh, where's my, my portal's gone. My portal's gone. Here we go. Let's go ahead and spawn our portal right here. That's fine. Let's go through. All right. So come on over here. You need to talk to the nomad. Okay. So if you want to get cactus seeds, you do need to talk to this dude, Mr. Desert Nomad. He will give you a bunch of different quests, right? So you got to complete different types of quests. We're going to go and complete that and so you need to complete different types of quests and it does cost 20 sand dollars so for whenever you complete quests you do get sand dollars right see the sand dollars on the top right and then of course you get four sand dollars eight sand dollars depending on the quest and the difficulty of the quest he scales those so let's go back here and look at the offers so based on your completion of things so i only have seven so i can't buy anything but these cost 20 sand dollars each so that is how you get cactus seeds you you know you gotta do this the other way you can get cactus seeds is by going to different published islands right here and then you can go and shop and try to find cactus seeds i think as of this video they were going for about 250,000 or so let's go back out to the hub here and I want to show you what the merchant will actually pay you for your cactus so you see I have five cactus here and if we go over here to the sell crops dude I don't know his name he never told me his name we'll call him Joey so Joey here you click on sell crops and then you go cactus and you see it's only gonna give you 30 each right so if I were to sell 20 cactus to them it's they're gonna only gonna give me 600 uh, coins right so only 600 coins for my 20 cactus so now let's go back here so one thing you know is really OP about cactus. Let's talk about one thing that's super OP is you can make this crazy, crazy powerful weapon. Look how many I have here. 1,997. You can make these using, assuming you have the blueprint, you do need the blueprint to be able to make these. You can make these for 20 cactus a piece. All right. So 20 cactus it does not take, let me tell you, it does not take you much to get 20 cactus. So let's go over to my farm over here. And I'm actually going to show you how to build this farm as well in a moment. The whole point of this video here is to talk about how OP or overpowered cactus is. So check Check this out. I only have five right now. Let's go ahead and I've got, like I said, I've got a hundred of these, about a hundred. It's a little bit, it, it might be exactly a hundred. I'm not sure. The last time I checked, it was about that. I've already got, I'm up to a hundred cactus already. So you can see on the bottom right, I am getting three cactus for every single time I harvest because I do have good farming. So I have high farming yield. So pretty much anytime I, you know, farm these, I'm getting pretty much a ton of cactus. So I'm getting three each, but let me show you what I'm talking about the yield. If you're like DB, what do you mean? I only get one at a time or, you know, two at a time. Well, that is actually impacted by your skill here in the top left. So you can go over here. I am level 91 right now in farming. So you can see 162% crop yield, right? So that is impacting it. And of course you got to, you know, replant your seeds. They don't just automatically regrow or there, and there's no such thing as totems or anything like that. So you do need to replant this stuff manually. So I actually have this set up right now to auto farm. And I just did my first auto farm for these. And I ended up with 37,000 cactus overnight. So you see those cactus spikes in my inventory right now. I did about 1800 of those this morning. I made 1800 just in one night's worth of farm farming these cactus. So let's let's talk about that for a moment, okay? So first of all, before I went to bed, I basically went over here and checked my skills, okay? I was level 88 before I went to sleep. So I leveled up three times in the middle of the night and that is just nuts to me. The, the, the ability to level up three times in the middle of the night, uh you know, this high up. So like if you were if you were lower level, you're going to you're going to level up way faster than I did because, you know, the lower levels don't require as much XP. But at some point, of course, you lose your your, you know, daily bonus here so you can see my daily bonus was completed. That is 1.2 million XP because the higher level you get, the more it requires every single time. So that is a lot of XP. So like I said, if I were to make one of these, it only takes 20, right? So let's go ahead and just make these. So I can make 10, I can make over 10 more right here. Let's check this out. I now have over 2000 cactus spikes. This is crazy, absolutely bonkers. Now, if I were to sell all that cactus that I had last night, right? So I had 37,000 last night, I would only get, so if I were went to Joey, <laughs> we'll call him Joey, he would only give me 30 a piece, right? So I would make 1.1 million coins overnight just from this cactus run. That is not a lot of coins, right? I mean, it is, it's, it, don't get me wrong. I only 
only have 5 million right now on me. But so it's a lot. But here's the thing. What if I sold the cactus spikes instead? And we're going to do just that. We're going to do just that. Here's the thing. The cactus spikes right now are worth of anywhere between 10,000 to 20,000, depending on where you're shopping. After this video, this price and value, unfortunately, because I'm kind of showing this, unfortunately, and I'm sorry for all of you vendors, you're going to be all mad at me. The price is going to go down really, really fast because the reality here is that everyone's going to be doing this now because I'm publishing this video. And so I'm actually, let's just assume it's worth 5,000 because of that. Okay. So assume everyone sells these for, you know, they're selling, everyone starts selling these and no one really wants them anymore because everyone's selling them and making them. How much is, how much is it going to be worth then? It's probably going to be worth about 5,000 coins. So assume I actually sold these all for 5,000. I'm going to sell some for more than that, but assume I sold them for the low price of 5,000 each, because again, everyone else is selling them for more. 5,000 times 2,000 is what? 10 million coins. I made 10 million coins overnight with very little effort. So here's how I did this. So very, very simple. So check this out right here. I took that start flag. So you just pretty much set up a start flag. You want to make sure you do a strip like this because it's just a little easier, but you set up your start flag because the reason why, you know, if you've been watching me for a while, you understand how start flags work. If you go all the way down here, and even if I dropped off right here, I'm going to spawn back wherever I started. So you can see, I just spawned back right here. I don't know why I'm lagging. Um, and so pretty much I've already have a macro here and I'm going to show you the macro real quick. I use a tool called tiny task. Now be careful downloading this because some of them have viruses on the internet. So depending on where you're downloading it from, I downloaded it from, I think it was like something portable, soft, portable apps or something like that. But, um, and that one's, that one's been virus free, everything that I've checked now, you know, just the thing about macros, if you're getting into the macro world, unfortunately, most virus scanners do not like macros because it has the ability to record your keys and input. And the reason why it wants to, you know, flag that is because there's such a thing as key loggers. Key loggers are malicious in every way because they can capture like your passwords and stuff. So because this has a macro recorder, they assume, well, that's probably in that category because it's able to record your input. That's why it's going to flag it as a virus most of the time, but don't just assume that it's virus free. You got to make sure you know your source, make sure you check it, make sure, you know, you scan it and then do some research. So I actually, I've never had issues with the version I use. I will link that in the description. So if you want to try it out, go for it. I've run multiple antiviruses on my computer. It is completely safe on my computer. Okay. So it's just, it depends like where, you know, be careful where you get it. I can't, I can't express that enough. I, I know I've mentioned this a long time ago. I mentioned it last year. I actually have a macro recorder that does the same stuff as tiny task. I just haven't released it yet. So I will release that pretty soon It's completely safe. I, ha I actually hired an engineer to write it for me. So that way I can tell you 100% it is virus free. I would never put out something with a virus. So, and it's pretty much going to repeat exactly the steps that I just did. Now you can sprint. You see how that little sprint that I did on accident for it there. You can actually sprint. It does work, but this is pretty much how I macro. So again, you don't really want to mess with the camera movement. Like you don't want to like move the camera while you're recording either. Try to keep your hand off of the right button. So that way you don't end up having any of this. See this little stutter here is because I had my, my finger on the right mouse button. So it starts shifting around in a little bit. Now, if you're on mobile and you're like, DB, I can't macro. It's okay. You know what? That's, that's totally okay. You can actually still do this over and over and over with active grinding. It is still overpowered. It is still the same story and it's, st it's still relevant. Now, you know, if you are on mobile, you can actually macro still, or you can use conveyors on the side here. Remember, it's the same thing with the other conveyors. So I already showed you how you could do that with your grapes. Same logic here. So if I wanted to, let me go and pause this macro. So if I wanted to, I could actually set up something like this, very similar with the cactus, right? So I could just pretty much do this and harvest like that and then replant and all that stuff. I could do the same thing with this where I just have conveyors on the side and I, that way I don't have to control any movement. I could just pretty much just macro the F key and the left button. And that's totally fine too. So you can do either way. And I just ran that all night. I got 37,000 cactus and that's only off a hundred. So you might actually have a bigger farm and a lot of people have huge, huge farms. So this is not something new on top of that. You're getting a ton of XP. Granted, I'm not getting a whole lot right now because I've been grinding it so much. They actually, I think they're you know penalizing my XP for it. But again, level 91 is crazy. But if you want a tutorial on how to use tiny task, definitely, you know, check out the link in the description as well. I actually did a tutorial on how to use tiny task and pull over and includes all the links and stuff in there. Um, unfortunately, I am not a macro support guy. So it's if you want to get support or help on how to use that, you can join my Discord. There's a lot of people that can help you out with that. All right, so let's go to some shop. So let's go to the very bottom here. The other thing, while I'm doing this, by the way, I do want to announce that I'm actually going to be doing an event this week where I visit people's published islands and I rate their stores. And I'm going to be doing that all week and I will be actually announcing some winners. So if you want me to rate your store, I will be checking this every day. Like I said, if you want me to rate your store, just put in like something about DB, like DB, please rate my island or something like that. So like a lot of people don't realize I have some alts and sometimes I actually shop 
from you. When it says DV, please join, I might actually visit you without you realizing it. I actually did that a couple nights ago on my actual, my alt, and uh, it was great seeing people in there. Let's see, buy, sell. Okay, so sell and buy right here. So we need diamonds, really? All right, they say they need some diamonds. Let's see, I don't see any diamonds here to sell, but I can sell some cheap diamonds. No diamonds here. All right, next shop. Let's go look for the next buy, sell shop. Here we go. Let's see. Let's go check out Muscular Gorilla. He's actually um, a friend of mine, so let's go over there. Let's see what Gorilla is up to. Enchanted diamond for 100,000. Ooh, I'll sell these. Out of money. Oh, they're going for 150. Look, he's selling them for 150,000. Let's get some more. Yay. Yeah, those are OP. Like I said, they're super overpowered. So it looks like they're going for even less. I mean, at, at least on his island, it's going for less. All right, so let's check the next place. All right, buy and sell. Let's go check out this buy and sell. All right, let's see. How much are they buying spikes for? So they're selling spikes for 8,000. Doesn't look like they're buying them right on this store. Okay. Okay, they just ran out of money. <laughs> I sold two of mine. So we just sold two of our spikes, made 10,000 coins. So after this video, I'm probably going to go and just jump on this account and leave my account published for a while. So that way people can actually buy these. And so I'll be on a little bit later today and I will be selling all these cactus spikes just to get them out of the way. I'll probably give away a bunch of them too. So drop by for a free cactus spike or if you want to buy a, you know, a bunch in bulk, just come on by. So I feel like if, you know, we want to make the game fair, you know, these probably need to get nerfed at some point. But, you know, after this video, unfortunately, the value of these are going to tank. I think, you know, it's probably going to be about 2,000. I'd say maybe up to 4,000 a piece, maybe 5,000 depends on how much, you know, people are actually buying. But it's just like the duping issue, right? You know, the fact that we can make these so easily, like, look, I just did a little bit of farming earlier. Now I can make, you know, <laughs> I can make so many more of these. It just, it's it's no different than the duping issue, in my opinion, because as long as you have the materials to make these, the value is just gone. It's completely vanished. And I just think we need like a rare resource that needs to come in with this, you know, either cry gold or something, because even if they keep nerfing it, unfortunately, it, you know, the, the wooden sword at some point is going to be more valuable than this because it requires, the wooden sword requires wood and we can get so much more of this than wood. So it's just crazy to me to think that even a wooden sword is going to be worth more than this thing at some point. But even so right now is a great time to, you know, kind of capitalize on this and get as much money as you can off of the cactus spike before it actually does go away and make sure you get some, make sure you get the cactus spike while it's cheap. And, uh, you know, that way you can stock up on them for drop parties and stuff. It's a great gift. And I will let you know tomorrow how the uh, published island goes. I will also be judging and reviewing stores and islands through the published islands server here this week. So just make sure, you know, put a little note to say like, you know, hi DB or something like that in your title if you want me to drop by. And I may even drop by some that don't have that. So don't feel obligated to do that. You know, typically if it looks like there's a bunch of emojis and stuff, I might come by, you know, especially if you're like on the top five, I usually drop by. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.